The lymphatic system plays a vital role in both the immune and circulatory systems of the body. Yet, most people have not heard about this incredible drainage system known as the lymphatic system. And this is such an injustice because most people are walking around with a sluggish lymphatic system, which is causing a whole host of unwanted negative health symptoms and side effects. In today's video, we'll provide a concise overview of the lymphatic system, its main functions, what happens when it's underperforming, and actionable tips that you can leave with to start supporting your lymphatic system today. And for those of you new here, hello, my name is Maddie Miles. I am a clinical herbalist and integrative health practitioner specializing in women's health. I created this channel to share empowering and educational content for women when it comes to our overall health, especially when it comes to our hormones, our ovulation and menstrual cycles, our reproductive and fertility health, and again, just our overall health and well-being. So if this sounds interesting to you, definitely hit subscribe if you have not done so yet so that you can stay up to date. So what is the lymphatic system? The lymphatic system is a drainage system that performs a few key functions such as waste removal, fluid balance, fat absorption, and supports the immune system. And this network consists of four main parts. One of the key four parts parts of the lymphatic system is known as the lymph, which is a watery fluid that flows through the lymphatic system. Another key part of the system as a whole is the lymphatic vessels, which are a network of tubes that carry lymph and trap harmful substances. A third part of the system is the lymph glands or nodes, which filter and cleanse the lymph fluid as it flows through. And then a fourth and final part of the system are the lymphoid organs, such as the thymus, the spleen, adenoids, and tonsils that are located throughout the body. And when our lymphatic system is sluggish, it can lead to several health issues, such as swelling caused by excess fluids, especially in the arms and legs, increased risk of infections due to a sluggish immune system, toxin buildup, which can cause brain fog, acne, fatigue, hormone imbalances, fertility issues, you name it, chronic inflammation, digestive and gut issues, hormone imbalances, and even PCOS, and fertility issues as well. Now, given just how important the lymphatic system is, let's talk about some actionable ways in which you can support your lymphatic system. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is easy and it's free and you can do it all throughout the day and it is movement. So aside from a workout, which yes, of course, working out and having a really good strength and cardio-based workout five or so times throughout the week is very, very important. Movement in general all throughout the day is really key. So one of my favorite things to do and something that I recommend that everyone do, the women that I see in my private practice, my family members and my loved ones, just everyone, I recommend that you take a walk after meals. So after breakfast, after lunch, and after dinner, go for a short and gentle walk anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. It's really great to get your steps in, but it's also really great to get that movement in to stimulate your lymphatic movement and fluid and to also stimulate your circulatory system. So movement is key outside of those workouts, which are fabulous and everyone should be training their bodies and training their cardiovascular system and preferably your cycle syncing your workouts as well. And if you want any support when it comes to cycle syncing and workouts, definitely make sure to subscribe because I have plenty of videos and podcast episodes on this subject and I have a bunch of educational content over on Instagram, little shorter reels and graphics about cycle syncing food and workouts and work and life and dates and just all of the things. So in conclusion, movement is key. Gentle movement, walks are a great way to move your body all throughout the day, every single day. And speaking of movement, shaking our body is a really great way to move our circulatory system and to get those lymphatic fluids moving. So some great ways that you can do this um, with actual equipment is to buy a rebounder, which is just a little mini trampoline. For those of you who have kids at home, maybe you have a normal size trampoline in your backyard, which is amazing. I myself have a little mini trampoline and I also have a vibration plate. So I stand on there and my whole entire body 
body and everything that it consists of shakes and vibrates for I usually do 10 to 15 minutes a day and it's a great way to stimulate your tissues and your organs and everything in your body literally everything everything moves and everything shakes so rebounders the vibration plates and um, if you don't have either of those you can also just bounce in place or do jumping jacks these are really great ways to shake up your body and to move it I've also heard of I believe it it's called like the 60 second shake and just literally for 60 seconds set a little timer on your phone just to shake your body that will really really support your lymphatic system as well so we had movement and now we have more of the shaking and the jumping whether it's with yourself and just shaking your body and jumping in place or you're using a rebounder or a mini trampoline. My third tip for supporting your lymphatic system is to sweat every single day. So this can be through a workout, through just being outside and walking around when it is super hot and sunny in the summer. This can also be through a sauna, even better if it's an infrared sauna. And then to optimize your detoxification and your lymphatic health before sweating, I really recommend either doing um, some sort of movement like we just talked about or some sort of shaking or jumping or bouncing or and or using a dry brush which we'll get into next of how to do that but using a dry brush to stimulate your tissues and your lymphatic tissues and fluid and to get everything moving before you actually sweat and detoxify so on that note let's talk about dry brushing dry brushing is very easy all you need is your body and a natural bristle brush you can find one on amazon for five to ten bucks they're cheap and it's really easy to do there are just a few rules always make sure that you are brushing towards your heart the center of our circulatory system so brushing towards your heart you can start at your feet and brush just little tiny strokes brushing upwards up our feet up into our calves up into our thighs all up the front sides and backs of our legs then we get to our abdomen and we can do clockwise circles on our abdomen we can then start on our hands and move from our hands all the way down to our shoulders and then move moving if on our breast as well we have a lot of lymphatic fluid and tissue in our breast so making sure that we give those lots of love then from our lower back to our middle back to our upper back and then brushing down our neck and really making sure to get in here um, right at you know our collarbone to gently press like this if you're watching this on YouTube you'll be able to see what I'm doing right now but gently pressing like this before we do any sort of like upper facial and neck drainage as well and why I recommend pain special attention to our collarbone right here and also to like our armpits and our groin is because these are areas where we have um, large concentrations of these lymph nodes so to gently stimulate those will really help all of the lymph fluid to just be more flowy and to move as it should and i know this one is a little bit controversial but i highly recommend going bra free as much as you possibly can and if you do want to wear a bra i recommend wearing a beautiful comfortable lace bralette or a cotton bralette something that doesn't have wire because that wire really does block a lot of lymphatic flow again like i mentioned before we have a lot of lymphatic tissue and fluid in our breast and so to let them be free is um, a movement that i am totally all for because it really supports our breast health and therefore supports a woman's overall health and well-being so move more towards the bralettes if possible and or just let them be free as much as you possibly can. When you get home from work or from being out, if you don't need a bra on, don't wear one. And I just don't think that we need to wear bras at home, so free the ladies. <laughs> Number six is to hydrate. I know this seems super, super simple, but hydrating with quality water, my favorites are spring water or reverse osmosis with added minerals back into it. Hydration to get things moving and to support detoxification. It's very, very important. Please make sure you're not only hydrating yourself every single day, but that you're hydrating with quality water. And lastly, but certainly not least, there are so many lovely herbs that you can use to support your lymphatic system, to support your immune system, System and to get things moving and detoxifying and eliminating. So some that I absolutely love are green tea, turmeric, ginger rhizome, burdock root, astragalus. Honestly, 
all the bitter herbs I absolutely love. Dandelion root as well. Let's let's add that in there, although there are so many herbs that I would add to this list. Stick with the bitter herbs. Those are very, very medicinal, generally speaking, and typically are hepatic herbs, which means that they relate to the liver and they support liver health and also the kidneys. And again, to stimulate that lymphatic movement in the circulatory system. Also, cayenne is a really great one for stimulating the circulatory system. So these are some great herbs, a few of the many, many herbs and functional supplements that you could add to your routine. If you are interested in a full episode all about herbs or a full episode all about the foods or the functional supplements that you can use to support your lymphatic health, please let me know in the comments that you're interested in that and I'm more than happy to record another episode for you. Hopefully, we all leave this video understanding the importance of the lymphatic system when it comes to our hormone health, reproductive health, fertility, and just our overall health and well-being. And for my ladies struggling with hormonal acne and breakouts, whether it's on your face, it's on your body, addressing the lymphatic system is incredibly important. The same thing goes for brain fog or mood swings or menstrual irregularities or hidden diseases and illnesses where you don't really know what's going on. The lymphatic system definitely needs to be addressed. And by listening to these simple yet effective tips that I provided in this episode, you are already on your way to a healthy and optimized lymphatic system. If you enjoyed this video, chances are you'd probably enjoy my other videos and podcast episodes so again, definitely subscribe and any suggestions that are showing around me on this video, I highly recommend watching those. If you do, I will see you over there. If you don't, then I will see you next week as I post a new video every single week. Until next time, peace, love, hormones. Mm -hmm.